What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of my Butterball Master Build Professional uh, Electric Turkey Fryer. That's the manual right there, warranty and this dadgum DVD that it comes with. Got mine at QVC for about $169 or something like that. I don't remember but yeah. Alright this is the box it came in pretty much came put together so there's really no need for me to rip it out the box or anything like that alright guys this is my pantry and this is unfortunately where I had to put mine excuse the mess I had to put mine there because it's it needs height and it's it need, it's deep so you need both of those to store it my plan was to put it on this bottom, you know, shelf right here, but it had the height, but it wasn't deep enough. That shelf right there has um, gotten away. So my suggestion to you guys is if, um, <clears throat> if you don't have like deep kitchen space in your cabinets, um, maybe put it in your garage or something like that. So anyway, this is what my kitchen looks like, one half of it. Sorry, I got dishes in there Sunday morning. I didn't, I didn't watch. I was supposed to put that in the dishwasher. Anyway, all right. So it's on my island right now, just to give you a visual. It's fine that it's big, guys, because I mean we can do 22 pound turkeys with this. That's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be doing wings mostly in this. However, um, what's today's date? I think it's the December 12th. Uh, for Christmas, I will be frying a turkey. So I'm kind of thinking, why didn't I get this for Thanksgiving? No, I was being chicken. I didn't want to. I didn't think I would do a good job, but I think I think I'll be ready by Christmas. Anyway, all right. Let's take a quicker. I mean, a closer look at this. Kind of in detail. What I like about this, guys, is everything detaches. You can detach this. You can detach this. It's cool. They have many different colors. I chose black because, you know, this thing's going to get oily. You know. And I'm not going to really keep it on my counter space or else I would have got stainless steel, but... It's not going to stay on my counter, so black seemed to be the most, uh, the color that made the most sense. All right, let's pop the hood. I, I put all the extra parts in there, so we'll check it out real quick. All right, so first, first thing I want to show you is, uh, this this is the breakaway cord it's short I don't like that so butterball fix that on your next ones um, they don't want you to use an extension cord but they give you a short cord I don't like that anyway comes with this piece this is what you use to hook and lift You've seen that before. Comes with this piece, this little funnel piece to um, help, uh, you know, reuse the oil. And we'll we'll get to that later anyway. So let's take out the basket. Push this back a little bit. So I want to give you guys a visual. In fact, let me help you guys out. All right, check this out. I'm gonna put a full loaf of bread in there. See? If you ever wanted to know, get like a visual of how much this thing can hold. So for me, this is like 35, 40 wings easy. All right, so let's continue breaking this down here. So this just lifts right on up. 
and this is attached to the burner or whatever you call this thing this produce this is what produces the heat and this is like the control panel right there right that just comes right on up and see so you slip it back in these grooves right there on the side you just slip it right back down boom and then right there is where um, I guess I unscrew this and then this is where this thing would probably screw in right and then you just drain your oil just like that okay. anyway continuing with breaking it down this comes up like uh, this is huge sorry about that guys that was my son I told him to go upstairs because he was making too much noise anyway so this is what the basket looks like and you can totally take it out put it in your dishwasher I think that's awesome and then this is what it looks like with nothing in there Oh, also I wanted to show you. See back here? If I go like that, I can detach this off the top. So if I, let me see if I could do it. I don't like messing around with stuff like this, but let's see. Hold on. See, I took it completely off. So that's cool. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. So you could throw that in the dishwasher as well. Awesome. All right, let me put everything back in then. Oh, and did I show you guys that the breakaway cord goes right here? Right there. Got these hooks right there that hooks onto it. See? Two things I wanted to go over with you guys before you go. Like I said, this is just a quick unboxing. Um, it says here, add oil. The max is 2.75 gallons, which is 11 quarts. So I wanted to show you that. And also, something else I wanted to show you guys. Oh, it also said um, when you get the oil in there, it could take up to 45 minutes, which I'm doubting that it shouldn't take that long, but we'll see. And also in here, it says you can use, you don't have to use peanut oil, but they recommend it, but you don't have to use um, peanut oil for this particular, for the butterball fryer, um, which is cool because most of them, the turkey fries that I know require to use peanut oil. This one you don't have to, so that's also cool. But it's, if you want the best taste and the less smoke, peanut oil would be the way to go. The manual actually gives you step-by-step -step instructions <laughs> on how to do this. So guys, if you feel like you don't know what you're doing, the manual got you covered. And that's, this is just like page six, so it goes into detail. And see right here, yeah, this is what I was talking about. See, 2.75 gallons of oil, peanut oil is recommended, blah, blah, blah. All right, guys. Anyway, that's my quick unboxing of my uh, Butterball Turkey Fryer. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Um, if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video and stay tuned to um, videos with me frying up some stuff in this and um, steaming stuff. Doing all sorts of things with this. This is an early uh, birthday gift to myself. Um, my birthday is December 23rd, for those who didn't know. I'll be 41, so I guess this is the type of stuff that gets me excited. <laughs>
I got myself some other stuff, but I think this would be cool. Anyway, I'm out.